All right, guys, so let's continue with um, with working with S3 buckets and objects. So I'm actually going to, I don't want to loop through every single bucket anymore. I, I want to work with a particular bucket. So let's work with the Fran Lambda bucket. So I'm just going to copy this name and I'm going to comment out this. So let me put a comment here that says list all buckets and all objects. So let's copy this and comment this whole thing out and basically paste the same thing, but we're going to get rid of this line and dedent this. And now you see it doesn't know what my bucket is. So we need this piece of information information. Okay. So bucket name, instead of using the variable, we're actually going to just going to hard code it here because we know the bucket name. Oops. It's down here. All right, and why doesn't it, oh, it needs to be in a in quotes. All right, and then bucket name is just this, oops. Oh, it doesn't like it because it's not a variable, it makes sense. We don't even need this, this print statement. Print. Um, actually, I think there's a way. It's, I, that might work. Yep. So that this now that we set the, my bucket equal to this s three dot bucket um, method, it, it has this name property. So that's good to know. And we're also going to print. Uh, file dot key. All right, so we didn't really do much, but now we're using just one bucket. So let's say instead of listing every single object, let's say we wanted to only list um, specific objects that were in like a folder inside S3. So let me go over to AWS. I just want to show you the folder structure of um, the S3 bucket we're working in. Uh, hold on. AWS. So if I go to S3, here are our two buckets. And you can see I have these like images are in the top level and they're actually not, there's no folders in S3. They're called prefixes, um, but it's basically like a notation. So we have this Fran testing folder. So let's say I just wanted to list everything in the Lambda GDAL uh, folder here. So how would we do that? So let's Google Photo 3, how to list objects in folder. Photo 3 list contents of a specific directory. So I'm looking for something called filter. I know this is what we need. So let's paste that. Um, so we basically just need to change instead of saying my bucket dot objects dot all, we want objects dot filter and we want to filter a prefix. So I'm just going to replace this, get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. And now we want to filter Lambda GDAL. So let's, before we run this, let's take a quick look at how it was printing out everything here. So once we fix this, we're expecting it just to print out anything in the Lambda GDAL folder. And this is pretty handy. It comes in, comes in handy here. So all right, let's try that. Okay, maybe it didn't like that slash because you see nothing returned. Maybe we need a slash in front of it. No, Lambda cheat all. Maybe we need two slashes. Why is that not printing anything out? 
That's interesting. Hmm. Let's see what they have. They had pre oh, we didn't say. Oh yeah, we did prefix equals. Huh. Hmm. All right. Let's just say all. I want to take a closer look at how the full, the uh, structure is again. Yeah, lambda cheeto. Oh, wait a second. Fran. Fran. Yeah, Fran Lambda Bucket. Maybe we need to list the entire prefix, not just a specific word that was in it. Filter prefix equals. I think that'll work. Okay. All right, so we can see it's only listing stuff that's in that Lambda G doll, so that's cool. So next, actually, let's cut the video here. That's a good stopping point.